Founded in 1939, Preservation North Carolina is North Carolina's only private, nonprofit, statewide historic preservation organization. Its mission to protect and promote buildings, landscapes, and sites important to the diverse heritage of North Carolina. It enjoys a national reputation, having been cited by the National Park Service as the premier statewide preservation organization of the South, if not the nation and by the National Trust for Historic Preservation as the model organization of its kind. PNC has saved more than 600 endangered historic properties, generating an estimated $200 million in private investment through its award-winning Endangered Properties Program. Executive Director Myrick Howard sums up the organization's role as North Carolina's rescue shelter for historic properties. We take in strays nobody else wants and then find them a nice home with loving caregivers. Many of the saved properties have truly been community landmarks. Buyers have put these properties into a multitude of new uses, adding millions of dollars to local tax rolls and creating numerous jobs. The Endangered Properties Program is widely regarded as the nation's most successful program of its kind. The impact of Preservation North Carolina's Endangered Properties Program reaches far beyond the individual properties that it has directly saved. The organization has indirectly been responsible for the revitalization of hundreds, if not thousands, of additional properties. Most of the properties saved through the Endangered Properties Program have been in rural areas or small towns, the parts of North Carolina most in need of reinvestment. Past PNC Chairman Steve Schuster, FAIA, explains, I've personally witnessed PNC's catalytic impact on countless communities across the state, where their knowledge, advocacy, and credibility are often the difference in important buildings being saved with new useful purpose or last forever. Preservation North Carolina's work with challenging properties has also raised the level of awareness about the value and promise of historic preservation to local communities. It's been a pioneer in dealing with troubled building types, inspiring others through its example. From the inception of the North Carolina Main Street Program in the early 1980s, PNC has been an active ally. Since the late 80s, Preservation North Carolina has worked to find adaptive uses for dozens of abandoned historic schools, industrial factories, and mill villages. These large projects have significant environmental, economic development, cultural tourism, and affordable housing components, all adding millions of dollars to the local tax base while preserving complexes of enormous historical importance. Architect Eddie Belk, FAIA, and rising PNC chairman of the board, notes that having helped with and been helped by PNC's activities over the past decades, I know well the impact PNC has in communities across the state. Through their design charrettes and preservation celebrations, they build community enthusiasm and unity. They build courage by being courageous in accepting guardianship of large cornerstone factories, mills, and schools. These actions provide time and assistance to build the team and develop a plan for workable new building uses. And through the organization's sharing of experience and success stories, they create that much-needed confidence to push forward with each recycling of architectural heritage across North Carolina. Among Preservation North Carolina's other activities are the operation of two major museum properties, the Bellamy Mansion in Wilmington and Aramount in Hillsboro. And as North Carolina's only statewide historic preservation organization, it provides support and assistance to numerous local preservation organizations across the state. PNC also produces publications, provides public education, and engages in legislative advocacy. One of its greatest advocacy successes has been the creation of rehabilitation tax credits by the General Assembly in 1997. These credits have stimulated vibrant investment in downtown areas throughout North Carolina, including many affordable housing projects. More than $1.4 billion has already been invested in historic buildings through this program, and in 2006, legislation for an additional incentive to rehabilitate historic mills and industrial buildings was enacted. The Chapter Awards jury could not think of another organization in North Carolina that typifies the criteria for our Legacy Award more than Preservation North Carolina. <laughs>